Hey everybody, I'm Seth Goldman and here is your entertainment buzz. I'm here at the Apollo for the world premiere of Samuel L. Jackson's new film, proving once again that he is full of soul. Come on, children, and gather around. In Soul Men, two estranged singing legends agreed to a reunion performance here at the Apollo to honor their recently deceased band leader. Sadly, though, this film is a goodbye performance for the late Bernie Mac. If I had to pick something and say, you have one more film to do, Bernie, what do you want to do? This would be the perfect film, because we get the Bernie Mac that came in our houses every week. We get the Bernie Mac, who was the king of comedy, who was very profane and kind of, you know, to the point. And we get a new Bernie Mac who's singing and dancing and doing stuff. And in a terrible coincidence, also appearing in this film is Isaac Hayes, who passed away the same weekend this summer as Bernie. And we also got Isaac in the film, and we actually do an Isaac Hayes song while he was there. He kind of said, you know, that's great. And the fact that he's in it kind of legitimizes the fact that we were musicians and we were peers and were part of that whole Stax kind of uh, legend. And on a lighter note, Samuel explained what an honor it was to have his film premiere at the Apollo. It all about, you know, the mecca of, of soul and where a lot of people got their starts and what it means in terms of you becoming a star to be able to perform on this particular stage or to have your memorial in this place. All right, so Soul Men sings its way into theaters on Friday, November 7th. Okay, that is your entertainment buzz. I'm Seth Goldman for NBC Mobile in New York. One, two, three.